Good morning guys. Just found an interesting article. I'm just here in the shack in a storm. Been making videos since like 6 a.m. Please donate, eh? It's been like three hours, that's like proper work. Anyway, so quantum computing on a chip brace for the revolution. The development is being compared to the desktop computing system of the 1960s. Pretty hectic. Did change a lot. Um, so yeah, this is going to be interesting. You're going to start to see like the real moving biomasses of smaller cellular robots. You know, like a maybe out of the Terminator movie, the, the nanobot Terminator can now actually be a reality. You know what I mean? Little little robots flying around. I've said in the last few years I can't wait for my phone to be flying around my head. So I'm pro possibly I'm the first person to say it in the world. I hope so. I reckon the phone will be flying around your head soon, taking your orders. My exact quote. <laughs> I reckon the mobile phone, you know, quote unquote, it might change the name, but the, the humble phone, generally speaking, who knows how it will morph, but the phone will fly around your head and take your orders. It'll probably be a little different shaped robot by then, possibly custom designed little jets, <laughs> little fighter jets. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? This is... Terence McKenna said we're entering maximum novelty domain. Oh, we're going to wait for the wind to stop and repeat that. Terence, oh look, it's the wind's coming back. I'm about to repeat it. Massive 50k an hour gust to distract me. Let's repeat it though. All we had to do was wait, Matrix. But see, now it's made me wait and miss something else. Oh, look at that. Look at the timing. Terence McKenna said we're entering maximum novelty domain. Ha! Got it out. <laughs> but I didn't beat the Matrix because I've just missed, you know, there's always opportunity cost. I could have been saying something else. Apologies on the storm, not my problem, not my fault, or maybe I'm a shaman. They say we control the weather. So, yeah, okay, this is an important paragraph. You know, we started with the, if you look at the first computer, it was a half a room, like the wall of a room. Obviously now we have the desktop, the, you know, the iPads, tablets, phone. And now we've gone down, you know, to these little chips, Intel chips and all that. And now we're at the computer qubit, you know, quantum computing level. Uh, allegedly the substrate of physical matter, right? We've reached maybe not the plenum, but the playground uh, near the school of the plenum. <laughs> maybe you could say an, an analogy like that. We're getting close to the plenum, but it's the playground, right? The quantum field this is where you can create form we're going to be creating animals like ray kurzweil always says in 2040 right it's just the tech becomes available then if we as humanity all seven billion nodes work together we could literally have it when the technology is there i mean the next the next few hours the next few days the next few weeks but because we're so scattered right and disassociated and not in in harmony as humanity you know even when the technological point arrives we're too too much fumbling the ball to even shoot the goal you know what i mean we can't even create the technology for 10 years after there's such a massive manufacturing lag because we we're not doing humanity right we are a social species and and a social animal you know, we, we will conform to that eventually and have cooperatives, not corporations for individuals which are, you know, seen in the eyes of the law as an individual and have rights over an actual individual human. That's all going to be put away with as, you know, ridiculous as it is eventually. And we'll have cooperatives where we all share equal share, 
we all get to eat equally, you know what I mean? And sounds like socialism, yeah, that's what I just said, we are a social animal, it will happen eventually. Capitalism is like a game on the way, obviously. It's not entirely sustainable to feed energy solo up to one point, then 99% of people or points miss out, right? This is not sustainable, it's not going to last forever. And it's part of the new world, we're going to be much more social and, and interacting. And that's partly going to kill the ego as well. And a lot of people in the organic portals movement, yeah, your individual's great, but you haven't healed the ego part of that, right? And, and it's a massive uh, barrier, anyway. You will be healed by the world itself. That's why I was going to say in this, you know, law of attraction is bullshit in a way. Um, unless you're a, uh, unless you are in the moment, the pathway for God, you might say, right? If you're the pathway for the energy, then it's going to happen. And law of attraction is just naturally going to be happening. Everything is as it should be every moment, you know what I mean? So if you're not attracting something, it's for the learning of how to attract it or whatever. Then there's, there's multiple reasons, not just that reason obviously but um i still think it's like a bit of a cult this whole uh law of attraction thing and they've culted it out too much um and uh we can see in this way for instance that you don't control the world the world controls you you know what i mean so it's like kind of the exact opposite philosophy as those people abraham entity group is up on stage spieling now this is interesting scalable quantum computing is gnarly it's not just quantum computing you can scale it Sorry, I was rubbing my eye. I've got an itchy eye. <laughs> Sorry to break break your concentration. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But uh, yeah, look, then you can do deployment of multiple chips, blah, blah, blah. Now, interesting, another point I wanted to make, Delta Flow operating system, Delta Flow. We've got currently, at this date, uh, where are we, July or some shit in 2021, uh, we've got Delta coronavirus strain. Why am I seeing Delta everywhere? Think about it. You should have felt it. Delta. Where have you heard that a lot? In the army. Yeah, that's right. Did you feel it? Did you feel the vibration? It was like a, a, a Delta. Ooh, like a shake. Like, oh, the army fear. That's what I felt when I said the word Delta. And I was saying, did you feel it too? Like, where have you heard, heard Delta? The word Delta. You know, Delta Bravo Tango. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's it's fairly army related, secret operatives stuff, and you know what I mean? It's got that vibe, right? Oh, oh, is coronavirus covered a secret op? A black secret operation? Perhaps. Perhaps they just started it by putting dry blocks of ice near ventilation systems. You don't know. You can never know. Maybe it'll come up in a conspiracy website. Anyway, that's for another thought. Uh, my point is we have Delta strain and I see Delta coming up a lot. Uh, you're going to say confirmation bias, Ben. You're looking for it. Nope. Absolutely not looking for it. Don't give a shit about it. Just keeps coming up. Another reiteration that you don't control the world and it controls you, by the way, if you're paying attention. Oops. Um, so, <clears throat> you got to pay attention out there. So, um, you know, Delta keeps coming up, for me anyway. And, and now we've got the Delta chip, right? This uh, Delta Flow operating system here. Well, it's going to usher in a new world. Have a look at this. Oh, where are the pictures? Just when I want to show the picture, the pictures are not there. Oh, there it is. 
you know what I mean? Like that that gives me the feel that picture um, of I don't understand the picture's caption, but that picture there reminds me of just like a, a nano swarm, right? And a nano created environment. <gasps> What? You mean nano, 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 Ben? Like, plunk length? The smallest possible conceivable length and size? Oh yeah, possibly, commenter on YouTube. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> yes, that is what I was indicating, guys. You know, by nano environment, we're getting closer to, like, how this matrix itself is, you know, a you know, plunk length. So small, you just, you're never going to see it, right? Just like you don't see the frames, right? You see at a fifth dimensional frame rate, but you know, maybe the universe is operating at a trillion dimension frame rate, right? It's, again, it's the quailing of the ego, right? It's happening to you. Anyway, yeah, should you be scared of this? Well, depends how much you see. I'm already scared every day of everything. To be honest, if you can see, this world is fucking scary, man. If you can see beyond the veil, what all these creatures and demons and all these spirits and shit, it's already scary enough. I'm glad I'm not that girl I saw talking about her schizophrenia whose third eye is clearly just constantly on in such a way that she can't uh, get away from a certain frequency. And so she's a schizophrenic, some girl who was interviewed on some YouTube channel I'm talking about. Just some, some example. You know, this girl just was constantly switched on. And you could see the fear look on her face. She has some entity guy talking to her and all this. Anyway, that's the future. I mean, they can get in your mind. Should you be scared? Well, that's up to you. 